Today I'm going to show you how I got my room ready for fall for these upcoming autumn months with five quick, easy, and affordable fall room decor projects. I know a lot of you guys are really busy and or might not have enough money for a ton of crafting supplies because you have told me that in the comment section of various videos of mine in the past. So I'm hoping that these projects make it possible for a lot more of you to actually make the projects and spruce up your room, make it cute. We all want cute rooms for the fall. And for all my other side of the globe peeps, don't worry, you can use some of these ideas to springify your room instead. Just change the colors and the themes and the shapes of everything. This weekend I'm going to New York City for BeautyCon. I'm very excited. If you want to see me vlog my trip, then you can go on over to my Live Love Sarah Lynn channel, which is my new vlogging channel, and I'll put the link to that below. Also, please subscribe by clicking that red subscribe button down below so you never miss a new video from So Craftastic, which is this channel, and please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed Wait, now let's move on to the fall crafts. My hands were very weird there. For the first project, I am using a canvas that I purchased from the craft store as well as these adorable mini fabric leaves. I think that these were sent to me by a really kind viewer who mailed them to my P.O. box. They're adorable. So I'm not exactly sure where they got them, but you could find similar things such as shaped buttons, sequins, or even stickers to do this project. You could even cut the shapes out of paper. That just might take a while. But anyway, I am just laying them out in a heart shape in the middle of the canvas. And by the way, I did not paint the canvas or do anything thing to it beforehand but you definitely could if you wanted. After I had the shape the way I wanted it to be then I grabbed some Mod Podge. I'm using matte Mod Podge which means that it's not going to be glossy or shiny on the canvas. So I am just gluing this. I'm attaching each piece one at a time with a sponge brush and to do this I put a little bit on the canvas and a little bit on the back of the leaf and I didn't show that but I do. So after they're on, you also want to put a layer on top because Mod Podge is a glue plus a sealer, so it'll just help everything stay bonded really well. Of course, if you don't have Mod Podge, you could use another type of glue. That is absolutely fine. But this stuff does dry clear, so you see it's white right now. It will not turn out that way. So after all that, you want to let it dry completely, and then you can decorate the middle of the shape if you want to. And I decided to do this by using puffy paint and I'm just going to write a cute little saying inside that is very cliche but fall in love, like fall in quotation marks, haha. <laughs> not clever at all, but it's really cute. And of course, like I mentioned at the beginning, if it's not fall for you right now, you could use any type of shape that is themed like another season to do these, such as flowers, snowflakes, or little sunshines. If for whatever reason you don't want to use puffy paint or you don't have it, you can use regular acrylic paint or a metallic sharpie. They have silver and gold metallic sharpies that are really pretty or just a regular marker. And I like to give you guys a lot of choices, so if you don't have canvas, you could also use a piece of cardboard, which you could paint white or just leave brown. Once everything is dry, it's time to hang this on the wall and bring the fall spirit into your life. It makes me happy. The second project is so simple to do and I think that you could probably find all these items at the dollar store if you have one in your area. I used a candlestick that I found personally from a garage sale and a vase and some of these fillers. So I have rocks and then these plastic gemstone things. They're at Michael's and they're made for fall. I got them last year. And you wanna have some strong glue as well. So basically you can see exactly what I'm doing. You pour whatever you want into the vase and then you just glue that onto the candlestick. Now I wanna use this candlestick for a different project so that's why I'm pretending to glue here but I did put the stuff in first because when you place it on top that's going to add more weight and therefore it will adhere better. So just pretend that I glued mine together and this is what it looks like. Definitely one of the quickest projects ever but it looks really pretty. And of course this could be a year-round project as well. You can fill it with other types of things. You could fill it with sprinkles if you wanted to and put it out at a birthday party. But mine is ready for fall. Okay, actually, I may have been mistaken because I think this project is actually the quickest. So for this, I'm using some paper heart doilies that I purchased in 2015. Hey, they never go bad. 
but I am using one of those and then you can either use a real leaf or you can use a glittery fake leaf like I have here. So all you're going to do is, seriously guys, just wait for this. You're going to put the leaf on top of the doily and grab a push pin and pin it into your bulletin board. Or if you don't have a bulletin board, you can just attach them together with glue or double-sided tape and tape that to the wall or sticky tack it to the wall. P.S. No, I don't live in Oklahoma right now, but I lived in Tulsa for two years and I fell in love with it and I wish that I were there, but in the late fall of 2014, I moved back to Ohio. So now I'm in the Cleveland area in Beechwood, but I am from Toledo. So random fact for you new viewers who had absolutely no clue. Now moving on to the fourth project, which involves tulle, one of the prettiest fabrics that there is and it's just so easy to use. So I have a bunch of different rolls of this. You can get it online, which is the cheapest. If you have enough money to spend um, bulk, then I definitely recommend it if you're going to use a ton. But you can also find these sometimes in the dollar section at like Walmart. I think I got the sparkly one there. So I am just cutting three sheets of each color that I'm using. Of course, this is going to vary for you because it depends on how long you want the string to be and how far apart you want the little bunches of tulle to be as well. Each piece I cut was a little over 11 inches long. Again, up to you how long you want it to be. So you're just gonna grab that and bunch it together and just pinch it at the middle and then you're going to put it right on top of the string like this. So make sure it's on top and you're going to form a loop at the middle top of the tool and then you're going to take the two ends and you're going to just fold them behind the string and pull them up through the loop. So hopefully that makes sense but if not you should be able to see what I'm doing. It was fairly easy to do and it took me probably 10 minutes to tie all six colors to the string. It was super quick. So here's me doing this again and Again, you just put it through the loop and pull. It's basically like tool tassels that are going to be garland for your room. And you can put it anywhere you want, of course, on the wall. Or I put it on my gold play button, which I think looks really cool. So I have my flower crown on there as well that I made a couple months ago. And then the So Craftastic metal piece at the top is actually a gift from Tulip. The fifth and final project is Cozy candle holders. So you're going to use some old or very cheap sweaters. I got these from a thrift store and you may recognize them from last fall when I made a plush owl and a sweater pillow, but I'll show you those at the end or I'll show you the owl. Anyway, you're just going to cut the sleeve off of a sweater or two depending on how many candles that you want to dress. And then you're going to stick the candle inside that and just see how much you need to cut off for it to fit correctly. So just trim that away with a pair of scissors. I like to use fabric scissors for this. They just work a little bit better and it makes it easier. And then I made it so the, uh, the cuff is at the top and I folded that down. So the top is pretty snug and then the bottom looks like a leg warmer or a boot sock because it's a little bungee. I think that is a cool look. Once you have it dressed the way you want it, then you can go ahead and glue on a button to make it look like an actual sweater or you can go the route of using a different embellishment such as a fabric bow. Now I am lighting them in this footage, but I do not recommend that you use these candles for real with the fabric on them. I think that it could be dangerous and it would get a little messy. So definitely take the candle holders off before using these. I just had it lit for maybe two minutes because I wanted to get this footage, but Disclaimer, please be careful and do not burn your house down, please. And then these candle sleeves can also be reusable, so that is a plus. Those are all the ideas from this video. I hope you enjoyed them. But if you want to see even more ideas, I have a fall playlist called Fall Into Crafts down below, and it has a ton of DIYs. All these things that you are seeing now with your eyes, I made, and I have tutorials on how you can make them as well. So you saw the picture frames, the duct tape leaves, the plush owl, the owl painting. I have a cork pumpkin and I did the sweater method instead of doing it on candles. I did it on a mason jar and the melted crayon drip candle was very recently. My favorite though, that this video does not get enough love and enough credit at all, but it is the dryer hose pumpkin. It's a project that I learned in Girl Scouts years and years ago. So please go 
show that video some love and watch it and share it with your friends because I think it's one of the most beautiful projects on my channel and I feel like not a lot of people have seen it. In the comment section below, please let me know which autumn project from this video or any of my past fall and craft videos is your favorite. And again, if you want to learn more about my life, go and check out my new vlogging channel. You'll see me vlog New York City this weekend for BeautyCon. And also I have some social media links you can check out Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I hope you all have a great rest of the day and I'll see you back here next Friday for a new crafty video. Bye! Oh my gosh, it's thundering! Thundering! Ah! Our possible, make it possible, make it, make it, make it possible. I don't know. Spider-Man Gangnam style. Girl, we all need our rooms to be cute.